Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. Well, our active weather pattern continues here in southern New England. Another potential snowmaker on Tuesday. More on that coming up in just a few minutes. First, we start with live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Notice we are seeing some flurries moving through. Now, this looks a little worse than it actually is in reality. The air in Rhode Island pretty dry right now, so a lot of what you're seeing as blue is actually drying up before it hits the ground as snow flurries. But some of the flurries will make it to the ground off and on throughout the evening. You can see a darker blue patch just offshore here from westerly, so potentially a few flakes hitting the ground here. I haven't seen any official reports from that. I have seen some reports of actual flakes making it to the ground. That's primarily in central and western Connecticut, so these still have to pass through as we go throughout the rest of the evening. So just use some caution. Obviously the roads are already slick in spots from last night with a layer of snow and ice on the ground, especially on some of those untreated surfaces. So obviously a flurry on top of it wouldn't really help the situation. And uh, we're seeing right now at the URI campus 29 right now. I'm looking for the signs of the snowflakes. Can't really see much as we look on this particular time lapse here in Kingston, Rhode Island. As we pan to the capital city, relatively quiet outside right now. Temperature is 28. Winds are out of the west at 12 miles an hour. That feel like temperature is 18. And that feel like temperature drops to the single digits, perhaps close to zero tonight. So you definitely want to bundle up. Hats, gloves, a whole nine yards if you're heading out this evening. 25, your actual temperature right now in Smithfield. 29, Integrate, 29, Newport, 28 in New Bedford. For the next several hours, these flurries in the clouds may actually help keep the temperatures up a little bit. Remember, during the nighttime hours, clouds actually act like a bit of a blanket and keep the temperatures from dropping really, really far down to what we'll see later when the clouds finally clear out. All right, so there's the batch of flurries that pushes through over the next several hours. We get rid of this by the time we head into tomorrow for a President's Day and actually bring in some sunshine for the holiday. So some sun to enjoy if you have the day off, but not warmth to enjoy. We'll talk about those temperatures in just a minute. I wanted to fast forward the clock. This is our future cast. Keep in mind the white represents clouds, not snow. This is Tuesday morning, five o'clock. And early indications tell me that the system arriving on Tuesday might hold off until just after the morning commute. That would be good news. Of course, we still have to look at more data. Any shift forward in timing would affect that morning commute a bit, so stay tuned for details on that. In terms of temperatures overnight, watch what happens. Look at the gray representing the cold just plunged through southern New England. Single digits, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning in places like Smithfield, perhaps even into Taunton, Providence down to around 12. And even though tomorrow morning is not going to be really windy, it doesn't take much of a breeze to push those wind chills close to zero tomorrow morning. And then not much of a warm up throughout the day. Temperatures upper 20s with sunshine. Seven day future cast shows the rain snow mix on Tuesday. Now we still have to iron out some details right now. Early indications tell me a dusting to two inches of snow. It really depends on um, the strength of the storm. Right now it does look like relatively light snow falling, and perhaps mixing with some rain showers, but we will keep you updated on that Tuesday weather system. Other than that, we get milder, Kelly. Uh, low to mid 40s throughout the middle of the week. Chance of some rain showers, especially Thursday night into Friday, but finally doing some melting. 50 for the degrees. End of the week. I know. You that is awesome. Look at me like you don't believe me, but I do think some milder <laughs> temperatures are on the way. I, and finally, too, to melt some of the snow because we're running out of places to put Yeah, it we need to do some melting, and we will do so by the end of the week. All right, Pete, thanks so much. Coming up in sports on Eyewitness News at 6.30, a Red Sox starting pitch.